Okay, so the, girl, the goal of this video is to help you get the Stream Deck Plus uh, button box to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And this should work for any of the Stream Deck products, any of the Stream Deck button boxes. This one's going to be focused on the, uh, on the Stream Deck Plus. Now, there is one other piece of software needed, and that's this intermediate piece that goes between the button boxes and the Flight Simulator. And for that, I'm going to use Axis and O's. It's not free. There is a free demo that you can get to uh, test it out, see if it works. But the uh, to really use it with the simulator, you're going to need to have uh, you, you're going to need to purchase it. We'll go through that. Uh, but you need three files. So we go to the downloads page, and you're going to need this Morbi Axis and O's demo. You need that the, the zip file scroll down a little bit further, you're going to need the most current of the Stream Deck plugin files. That's this guy. And you're going to need a sample file, and I'm going to use this one, the default APSDplus.zip. That's for the autopilot panel. And it's kind of handy. It can let you have easy control over the altitude settings and autopilot functionality. So those three files are what you need. This, this one. Uh, this one and at the top of the page this one and if you should want to buy it there's this handy link where to buy I got it from just flight and it's about $27 so all in all pretty simple so let's go ahead and get rid of that and these are the three files I've already downloaded them they're over here and so the first thing to do they're all zip files so let's go ahead and extract them all to their own folders and that gives us that. So the first thing to do uh, is we the Stream Deck software is we're going to be installing a, an, a plug into it. So we need to kill the Stream Deck software. And to do that, you go to the SysTray and actually quit Steam Deck, Stream Deck. You don't want to just close the window. That's not enough. So we need the service to disappear from over here. So now we're going to do the first thing, and that's to install the actual Access and O software. And so Access and O's uh, has a different installer for each of the different flight simulators. We're using MSFS, so I'm going to use that installer. I say yes, and I agree. Install. Close. And that's that. That part's done. Let's go back up here. So the next part is the plugin for the Stream Deck. And for this, what I like to do is uh, I renamed the file and I add a .zip to the end. Honestly, I don't know if this is really the right way to do it, but this works quite well. So we're going to say extract here. That gives us this folder. And so I'm going to copy that folder. I'm going to put it into the Stream Deck plugin folder, which is in the, by default, it's C, users, your username for the Windows machine you're on, uh, app data, roaming, Elgato, Stream Deck, plugins. I just paste that into here. And so now that that's done, I can start the Stream Deck software. And we can do the final piece. So to get the sample in place, because right now all we've got is the uh, the Access and O's plugin. So Stream Deck knows what the plugin is, but it doesn't have any buttons configured. So for that, um, we've got the extracted default APSD plus sitting here and inside it is a file so we're going to go up here to edit profile and this little chevron button down here import and that's the downloaded thing that we extracted and click that open and now we've got our buttons and that is literally it so at this point I'm going to start up the flight simulator and I won't make you wait through the whole load up process, but that's pretty much it. The well, there's there is one extra step. So I'm going to go ahead and start the Lorby Access and O software, and say yes. And if you forget to start it before you start the simulator, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you forget, just make sure that you know if the buttons aren't working, check to make sure this is running. Uh, but we've configured nothing. We, we've got no assignments, no nothing. Is, nothing has been configured in here. Nothing's been changed on my server. 
or my uh, desktop machine. Nothing's we've we've configured nothing. You've seen every step. So now I'm just waiting for this to all start, and we'll be back when it finishes. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I've changed nothing else. You've seen everything up to this point. And so let's go ahead and load into an airplane. There's nothing else to configure. Let's load up to a local airport and click fly. Executive Tower Daher Yankee and here we are. At runway 07, ready for departure. Okay, Departing like, straight out. Let's go ahead and click into the airplane. And let me move my head down a little bit. So this is where we start seeing things working. And let me zoom in on the screen here. So like right here, we've got heading. So let me change the heading to, uh, let's set it to the runway heading. And so as you can see on the button box itself, it's telling me that I've dialed in 73 degrees. On the screen at 73 degrees, everything's lining up nicely. So I can even set an altitude say 2,000 feet and that's it we've got 2,000 feet set so that's all there is to it at this point the box is set up now if, I, if you remember I did mention a bug earlier on in this at least I think I mentioned a bug there is a bug in the autopilot sample file and so let's see what that bug is first and I'll show you how to fix it real quick and so let's go ahead and uh, get in the air because I need to be in the air to show you the bug okay. This won't be a perfect by the book takeoff by any means But I'll do my best Pause at a rate of climb, gear up, flaps up, and let's go ahead and turn on the autopilot, turn on auto or heading hold, and let's turn on vertical, vertical speed hold, and that's the bug. Notice how the button isn't staying lit? It should, it's not. So let's go fix that. We go to fix it, we go back to the, uh, not that, but we go back to the Stream Deck software. We look at this button and this, these other buttons work fine. So let's look at how these are configured. And you'll notice in this first event value field, it has a zero, but here it's blank. So what I do is I add a zero there, come to the bottom, click submit, Let's resume the sim. And now it works. That's all you got to do. So right now it's set to 1,000. Let's change that. Let's say the tower has told us to turn north. So let's change it to north. There we go. And that is that. So at this point, the button box is working. And, there, and that the whole setup process literally takes about two minutes. So I hope this helped you. Uh, happy flying. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best, best I can. Uh, the, there are documentation. There is documentation out there for it. But I didn't see enough detail in that documentation to really get it working that I could tell. So I put this together to hopefully help somebody who ran into similar questions. Thanks for watching.